Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. The question I have and the purpose for this video is to answer this. Is the ammo crisis ending or at least nearing the end? I'm going to get to that, but to illustrate my point, I brought out my 1911. This is a Desert Eagle 1911 case hardened frame. I show it off all the time. But I remember when I first got this handgun, I was so excited that even driving home, I would stop at a red light, I'd open up the case, I'd check it out. I took it home, I, I disassembled it, I, I played with it, I stared at myself in the mirror, you know. You do that too now, don't you? I do. And I certainly did with this Desert Eagle 1911. And I'm, I'm still very much excited about it, but over time, you know, it, it kind of wears off a little bit. And I think a lot of people w would say that. There are certain guns that when they first got it, the, the jubilation, if you will, was overwhelming. You know, you think about the first gun you got and how excited you were to get that gun. You know, you research, whatever the case, you got it and you were excited. How does that relate to ammo? Well, now, the way I see it is that it's not just the gun that excites people, it's that ammo score, if they can get it. You know, they get a couple boxes of ammo, there's a two box limit, they get their two boxes and they are so excited. Maybe not to the degree that they're gonna open it up and look at it at a red light, but the excitement of scoring ammo in 2021 is amazing. Like People are overwhelmed when they can actually get it. The very substance that we said you know that's that's a dollar fifty too much i'm just gonna let that go i can get it cheaper somewhere else now we're paying upwards of 30 to 50 dollars for a box of nine millimeter 45 is outrageous rifle ammo is you can hardly get it and the the uh, heavy duty stuff for hunting is near impossible so is the ammo crisis ending let me switch positions here and I want to answer that question and give you my thoughts on the subject. $39.99 for a 100 round pack of American Eagle 5.56. Remember those days? Or 500 rounds of Blazer Brass, 200 bucks, 210. 1400 rounds of 22, 70, 80 bucks. Are those days over or are they coming back? Well, let me tell you what I think. When you drive past a gun store or a big box store or any place that sells ammo and you see grown men waiting in line one after another, the line could stretch out to 40 yards and you see people waiting in line who typically would not wait more than three people deep to go to their favorite restaurant. Like I wouldn't. If I went to my favorite restaurant and I had to wait for not just one or two, but three people, they say, oh, it's going to be 20 minutes. I'm gone. But when you have grown men waiting in line for hours to get ammo because they believe somewhere in that store there's something like this, it tells me one thing. Ammo no longer is just about supply and demand, although it is. The supply chain for the parts that make it. The... Uh, online stores who are not making money, so they're raising prices. It's not just all these things that we come up with reasons of why there is no ammo available. It has turned into this. Fear. The fear of not getting it when we need it. The fear of the ammo even doubling from the outrageous prices that we're seeing right now. The fear of additional taxes coming on. The fear of ammo bans. The fear of online sales disappearing. The fear of not having an adequate supply. The fear of even shooting because we know that we may not be able to replace our ammo. And so I think fear has taken over a lot of our emotions. And when, you, when the, the fear, which is an extremely powerful emotion, takes over, and then we talk about, is it ending? When I see guys lined up one after another because they think there is ammunition available inside that store, when they typically would not do that, that tells me that the ammo crisis is not ending. In fact, 
it could be getting worse. I, I am watching cost per round actually increase. Do I think the ammo companies are pumping out ammo? Of course I do. Do I think that the stores are getting adequate supplies? Nope, but they are getting some. And when I go online and I watch people talk about, oh, I had a great ammo score. You know, that's great. I'm actually happy for them. You know, I feel the same way when, when I get it. But that should not give us false hope that the ammo crisis is actually ending my advice would be to be patient don't overpay once the fear factor is removed from our mindset we will have more success with ammo until then so long as there is fear and in righteous fear by the way because i'm actually fearful of uh, additional tax and ammo bans and you know supplies being limited to how much we can get i am very much worried about that with these new bozos in the white house however as long as there is fear and people that will go to extreme lengths like stand outside in the cold an hour before a place opens to get ammo which is typically unusual for guys to do that that tells me that the ammo crisis is not ending and i think that when people overpay by a large margin you may have regret if 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 it was me who was short on ammo i would be careful not to do that but at the same time it's hard to say because we're all in different positions but i would also be careful to make sure that i had enough that i needed in case in fact i did need it i hope this is helpful i don't want to be depressing and i don't want to invoke fear but that's my reality of the current ammo situation if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe